What's going on guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to your daily news report for Wednesday, October 12th. So here's what's happening today. First off, we saw something coming for uh, the past few weeks. We now have a report that came out today. This is the producer price index, the PPI. And as the title says, the producer price index is rising. Now, this also brings up additional recession fears, and I want to address what's going on there because President Biden did talk about a recession and how it could be ever so slight. So I want to address what he said and the importance behind it. So if you have any questions whatsoever, just ask your questions down in the comment section below, and I'll get to them in a future video. So let's begin. First, the producer price index came out this morning. It is much hotter than what was expected, or at least what the Dow Jones estimates were. The estimates were that we would see a gain of 0.2% for the month of September. However, the PPI increased by 0.4% for September. That is double, okay, double. That's not what we want. Now, excluding food and energy, the producer price index, uh, this has increased by 5.6% from a year ago. Again, that is higher than what the Federal Reserve wants it to be at about two to 3% increase, okay? That's where we wanna see it. That's where we wanna see inflation is two to 3%. That's manageable. 5.6% is definitely not. And currently our CPI is 8.3, but good news is the report for CPI comes out tomorrow. So I will be here to fill you in on what goes on with that. Now, this report shows that the Federal Reserve has a lot of work to do in order to bring down inflation. And even yesterday, the, the Federal Reserve um, president out of Cleveland, uh, Loretta Mester, she even said there's been no progress on inflation, which is crazy that there's been no progress on inflation when the Federal Reserve has raised rates by, what, 3%? So... It's, it's interesting that there's no progress on inflation when the Federal Reserve has already done a decent amount, which means they have to continue, which likely means the next time they uh, go in and raise rates, uh, what, in a month, it's going to be an additional 75 basis points. After that, it'll probably be an additional 75 or at least a 50 basis point uh, rate increase. So we're going to see what happens there. Now... What's crazy about the PPI report is that the CPI report comes out tomorrow and it's likely going to tell us a different story. Here's the reason why I bring this up. Okay, and the key here is the, the PPI measures the, the prices received at the wholesale level. CPI, on the other hand, gauges prices that consumers pay. And typically when we see PPI come out and it comes hotter than expected, we will normally see CPI rise months later. But here's the reason why this is interesting. The CPI today tells, or the PPI today tells us that uh, it rose by 0.4% for the month of September. Okay. Well, and here's, and so again, uh, this now brings it to 5.6% from a year ago. But here's the problem. Okay, I want to address this problem because I think it's, it's critical. We, we are expecting the CPI report to come in and have an annual rate of 8.1%. That is, again, we're at 8.3, so we're coming down 0.2%. That's the expectation. And this is all due to uh, the decline in gas prices. But economists are also predicting that inflation, uh, core inflation, will rise by 0.4% month over month. 6.5% from a year earlier, uh, and about a third of economists from Bloomberg are actually predicting a print of 6.6%. But 6.5% matches the highest rate we have seen since 1982, right? And again, that's with PPI. So the reason why I bring all this up is because, again, people look at the numbers like, oh, inflation went down. Let's say tomorrow inflation goes down, and it's at 8.1%. Everyone's going to be so excited that inflation went down by 0.2%, uh, right? Well, no, it's still very high. That's what's expected. The problem is 
That is what is expected when we saw gas prices fall. Gas prices have been falling for the past, uh, or were falling for the past like three months. And then finally they turned around just this month or really towards the end of September. So that's kind of the issue there is we're gonna see uh, a CPI report that shows us a number, but it takes into account low gas prices. What if we see gas prices keep going back up like we have, well, that creates a bigger problem. So again, this is what we've been expecting. We have been seeing this coming for months, is that the writing's on the wall. In October, again, get this, October is the last month we're gonna have one million barrels of oil pulled from our strategic petroleum reserve and you know put back onto the market. So that creates more supply, which brings prices down. So as that one million barrels isn't getting pulled, Guess what? Prices are gonna go back up starting in November. So we'll see what happens there. Now, let's talk about what the IMF said yesterday and the warning that the IMF gave us. The IMF warned us that, the glo that global economies and the outlook on them is grim. But President Biden said there's no reason for the US public to worry or brace for a downturn. He actually said, and I quote, I don't think there will be a recession. If it is, it will be very be a very slight recession. That is, we'll move down slightly. But if you ask somebody like, uh, you know, JP Morgan CEO, uh, Jamie Dimon, he says that there will likely be a recession in the next six to nine months. That's what he is predicting. Now, let's address that. Will we dip into a recession? Well, here's the thing. The White House changed the definition of a recession. Before it was two consecutive quarters of negative GDP. We had that, but the White House changed it. And here's what's uh, very interesting about this is, and again, I, I think I'm part of it as well, is the media stopped talking about it. Stop talking about a recession because, well, the White House changed the definition. That, no, it's not a recession because well, it's, it takes more than just two consecutive quarters. There's other things that should be involved here. And so I think that's very interesting that the White House changes the definition and now we're not in a recession when technically we should be. But again, if we dip further into a recession, which would not be slight, right now it's slight. But if we dip further into a recession, it will be a little bit greater than slight. Well, here's the problem. The IRS is not or the, uh, not the IRS, the White House, will not be able to change the definition again to say that, no, this is not a recession. But again, I just want to point this out. The White House is just trying to get through the next month. That's it. The White House just wants to get through one more month of whatever it is they're going through because then they would get past the midterm election. Then it would not matter but right now it matters and that's the problem is right now it matters whether we are in a recession or not it matters whether inflation is sitting at 8.3 percent or you know seven percent that's a big deal it matters how much money the american people actually have but again we saw this coming we have seen all this stuff coming for the past you know three to six months is that we knew that both Democrats and Republicans were going to come out, try to bash each other, try to bash the other party, and get them to pretty much take the blame for whatever's happening. Yeah, the producer uh, price index is rising. Is, it, that, is that all on Democrats? Is it all on Republicans? Right? Again, a lot of questions to be answered here, but that is what we know at this time. Again, do I think we will dip into recession? It's, it's looking more and more likely because what we're already there. But at the same time, just understand, as uh, we continue to see the different crises across the world, I think a recession is almost inevitable. It's just a matter of when. So as soon as we get more information on what's going on there, I promise I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.